<laughs> What's up, guys? And girl. Aww. <laughs> Not a lot of girls watch my videos. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, it's your boy Naughty and Sands here for another exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. You know, with these videos, I try to do one thing, and that's change the game. And today's lesson is no different. You know those crappy presets in Premiere? Aww. Well, screw those. They don't do anything for you. We're making our own today. Oh, that's right. Custom presets. I'm going to show you guys how to make your own custom presets in Premiere, which is going to save time. It's going to save energy. And it's going to be fun. What more can you ask for? Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, folks. Premiere is open, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag down the clip that I want to start designing my preset for. So right here, I got a video clip of my buddy Ant DJing. Sweet. So I'm going to drag that down to my timeline, and what I want to do is I want to make the camera shake every time the kick drum hits in this video. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to double click, I'm going to go to effect controls, I'm going to set my position and scale, I'm going to go one frame over, zoom in here too, and I'm going to scale this up, and I'm going to push this over, push it up, one frame over, push it down, push it over to the side, Maybe scale it down just a touch. Push it over, go up, over, back in a little bit. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go six frames. So pull this back out. Right about there. And then the sixth frame will go back to zero, which is right there. So now if we watch this, maybe we'll jump the scale up much more on just one of these pull this over so it's a little more extreme. Maybe like that. Nice, that's looking pretty good. And then, since I want this to look more authentic than just a frame shake, I'm gonna come over to my effects, I'm gonna type in fast blur, I'm gonna drop it on my clip, and I'm going to set my zero at the very beginning, and I'm gonna set my zero at the very end, and since it's six frames, I'm gonna go over three frames, and I'm gonna blur this, and repeat edge pixels, and now, so there's four kick drums in this little uh, in this little clip right here. So what would you guys do? Copy and paste all the keyframes over here again and go in here and you have to zoom out, see how small they are and all this stuff. No, we're making custom presets. Check this out. Click on motion, hold down command, click on fast blur so that you can see that these two things are selected. We're gonna right click on it, go to save preset and I'm gonna name this six frame shake. And we're gonna select anchor to endpoint. Now, if you do scale, if you have a clip that's longer than the one that you designed it on, it will scale it out for the length of that clip. So if this clip is twice as long, for example, and I drop it on there, the six frame shake becomes a 12 frame shake and then it doesn't look as good. So anchor to endpoint will guarantee that it's the same amount of frames every single time. So use that. Anchor to end, click okay. Now check this out, boys and girls. I'm gonna cut my clip every time I want the camera shake to happen, so. There, and there. So now I'm gonna to go to my effects, I'm gonna twirl down presets, and there it is, six frame shake. Now check this out. I'm gonna drop it on each one of these clips. And then look at this. Incredible, I just saved you probably hours of doing the same repetitious keyframe animation over and over and over and over and over. Nobody wants to do that, just make presets. Now doing your own presets works with any parameter inside of Premiere that you can automate or animate, which is like everything, literally everything. So you can drop it all on your clip, build out your animation, and then save it as a preset. Don't forget to select all the parameters that you're using so they are imported when you drop it on another clip. It's gonna save you time, it's gonna save you energy, and it's gonna guarantee that all of your effects across all of your videos look the same. Important when you're trying to set a style. All right, I know I changed the game for somebody today. Thank you guys so much for watching and comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you have any questions about editing. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Naughty and Sands on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all things learn how to edit stuff. Until you subscribe, I'm gonna eat this smoothie. All right, get out of here, you son of a bitch.